Hello everyone, it is Cassie from Gun Grooming and today we're gonna be grooming a long-haired Maltese. Keep watching. So today we're going to get her a bath, a blow dry, and we're gonna brush her out and trim just a little bit off of her to keep that nice long flowing. And then we'll end with a ponytail on her head. And yay, this is my brand new tub. We're gonna do everything by hand until uh, we can get our research system in. We're gonna be using the Chris Christensen's White on White and also ending it with the conditioner of Earth Bath oatmeal and aloe conditioner. This is the owner's shampoos and conditioner at her request. So before I get started with the shampooing and everything, I wanna put some cotton balls in her ears. Mom has told me that she gets a lot of ear infections, so we just wanna make sure that we cover that up and that doesn't happen. Whoa, yes. So I'm gonna do this lather, and this is actually going to sit on her for about five or 10 minutes. And uh, this is a whitening shampoo, so this is very nice for her. So she's going to sit in this for a few minutes, and then we're gonna condition her. Then we're gonna get on the table and start drying. This here is the Earth Bath Oatmeal and Aloe Conditioner. We're gonna leave this on her for probably about two or three minutes. Let this soak into her skin, and then later when we blow dry her, we're gonna use a detangler spray, which I will show you later. All right, so since she has some long hair, and a lot of dogs, if you ever see them, they flip their entire bodies and all that hair flies out. But because she has so much hair, when she goes to flip, not a lot of that water comes out of the ears from the bath. So you want to take a really good ear cleaner and do it before um, before she gets out of the tub. Let that sit in there. Uh, Mom wants her ears as dry as possible, and this is the only way to do it because of the alcohol that helps uh, clear that out. I know, sweetheart. So we're just going to rub that in for just a minute, and then uh, when she's done with her grooming, I will clean her ears again to make sure that there's no excess water in there. So this is this stuff, this is where I dilute it and then spray them before the blow drying. And then as we blow dry them, uh, this works as a detangler as well. And it keeps their fur on the shinier side too. Uh, with her type of fur, you don't wanna take a blow dryer and do a full force on it because it's gonna create a lot of knots. So when you do blow dry, you have to blow dry from an angle or you can get one of those stand up dryers that will blow while you brush. And then you just wanna continue with your slicker brush into a comb. You'll get some knots in her armpits. I've already taken them out. You really don't wanna brush them through because it's a very sensitive area. As well as behind her ears, you're gonna have some knots. I already took care of that. We're going to clip her nails, trim the bottoms of her feet, and then brush them out one more time. And then we're gonna create and take about, I would say about an inch off of her. Look at all the thing you're... Oh my goodness. Should we take hair first? Let's take some hair off there first. 30. You wanna see the nails. <laughs> That's right. I know, Bubba. Where's her foot? <laughs> Where is your Where foot? Where is your foot? Hold on. I can't even see the foot in here. Oh my goodness. You can shave first or you can clip the nails first. It's really your choice. It's so nice. Oh, yes. Oh, can I have my gold ones instead? So there's many different ways of doing this. If you're a show groomer, then it's a different maneuver because you have to have rules and regulations uh, to be grooming these type of long hair breeds. I'm not a show groomer. I'm just following the direction of what her mom wants to do for her fur. And I think that she is a wonderful, gorgeous girl. Nice, long, white hair. Oh, it just, every time it goes through my fingers, it's like, ah. <laughs> I love her, I really do. You also have something in the back of the underwear. I'm getting there. Oh, okay. Yep, I just wanted to get her normal skirt going on. Make sure everything's brushed out. Okay. 
She's so therapeutic today. She really is. And I don't care if you see her butt or not. Yeah, we're at the clean butt. <laughs> it is a very clean butt. Look at that, Heine. You hear that? Even Christine is impressed by your badunka dunk. That is going to bring her bow. It's going to go up on top, and that's actually called a top knot. Look at you. Hi. Good morning. Welcome back. <laughs> All right, let's see the front of you. Good girl. Oh, you're so pretty. I'm glad we decided to do a video on her. Yes. It's been really annoying if we didn't, and she was being this well behaved. Hi. Yeah, I boogies. Over here, sweet pea. I gotta see what I'm doing. So, I think that mom and dad are growing this portion of her eyes out, which is wonderful. It's usually how it's done with the, this type of breed. Hold on, sweet pea. Oops. There you go. Let me just look. I don't want to get too much of your eye because we want it to be. We don't want it to pull. That a girl. And then with time, all this here will grow into the ponytail. Yeah. Yay! That's better. Hi, sweet pea. Oh, well this little girl here is a long-haired Maltese and her name is Baby and she got her full groom today and I love doing long-haired dogs. I will see you guys in the next video. Hi. I also added an extra spray to her and that's called the stuff. Yeah, we have that too. I love it. I'm under chef show dog. I can tell already. You already know your shampoos. All right guys, nice to meet you.